much to do, so much to do, so much to do. One minute. Feeling better now. Got a little energy drink kick. Got the room set up, lighting set up. Still have to work on the light box a little bit. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh yeah, the geckos. Pretty much have everything now. Most important part being the geckos. I'm feeling awake now, which is much better. Anyways, hang on a second. What is going on with this hair? That is embarrassing. All right, that's that's uh, semi adequate. Anyways, what's up, everybody? Welcome to yet another video. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's been a while. I've been pretty crazy busy with everything that has to do with life as always of course keeping good care of the geckos got a 10 month old now so that's a awesome roller coaster it's on itself i'm still working the full-time gig but anyways don't worry i am at least back here for this video and it is so nice to see you guys now you're probably wondering what's going on with the light box and why do you got a bunch of geckos on the table there and let's see so Think of today as like picture day. And I mean high school yearbook, you gotta look your best, picture day. And side note, please do not look up my 2005 yearbook photo. It's not, it's not good, don't do it. Long story short, we gotta basically take a bunch of gecko photos today because good news for anyone that's currently looking for a super awesome crested gecko gargoyle gecko chihua or lichianus because this wednesday at 8 p.m starts our black friday sale and it's going to run from 8 p.m wednesday all the way through cyber monday and the coolest part is this is actually going to include the entire website this year everything on our site is going to be 30 percent off that's right all species of geckos including lily whites and lichianus and chihuahuas and all the merchandise including hoodies tank tops t-shirts everything now because i already got the camera equipment out i got the lights set up and everything um i figured why not go ahead and shoot a video to kind of show to you guys what goes on behind the scenes as to how we kind of prep the geckos for picture day if you will how we get the light box all set up i'll show you guys a little closer look at like our gecko 360 turntable for the uh, videos and make sure to stay all the way to the end of the video because we'll be showing you guys here first a sneak peek of some of the geckos we will be listing this Wednesday. It's gonna be epic. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. As you guys saw, I already have a bunch of geckos here. So first things first, the most important part, especially if you're a breeder that tracks all of the geckos information, right, is transferring that information. I've talked about this in previous videos before. Essentially, we create these little ID tags and these ID tags stay with the gecko their entire time that they're in our captivity, all the way from when that gecko is first in the egg, when I find it in the egg laying bin, to when it hatches, when it goes into its first bin, um, all the way up into picture day or even at the shows. And here's an example right here. It's a uh, this little tag right there. Um, so yeah, that information stays with the gecko the entire time. That's super important for breeders that track 
all the information, especially if you're selling high-end animals, you want to provide as much information about that animal as possible. Hatch dates, uh, the amount of grams, um, lineage, who the parents are, all that info is super important. So obviously, so it doesn't get confusing, we just keep that little ID tag all the way through and it makes it pretty easy and organized, right? Um, and as you saw in the uh, deli cup that these geckos are in right now, there's a cute little gargoyle. Um, you'll see a little paper towels in here and it is actually, I don't know if you can see that on camera, it's super moist. I misted them a, a few times, right? And that is because um, I'm essentially trying to get them to fire up. Like I said, back to picture day, you want the geckos looking their best. And in this case, typically with most crested geckos and gargoyle geckos, they look their best when they are fired up. It just makes sense. Some geckos, they seem to fire up all the time and some geckos seem to rarely fire up too. Cause I can see even just the one sitting next to me now, there's a few that, you know, they've been in there about an hour and a half already and they're just completely pale, don't look like anything. And I'm sure once today's done and I'm done with taking photos of everyone, then at that point, they'll probably decide to fire up. <laughs> and to go along with keeping track of information, I'm also tracking everything on my phone as well. So basically, I have the info on the Gecko's Deli Cup. I take them out, take their photo. They Then after the photo, I put them on the scale so I can get the exact weight in grams at the time of the photo. They go back in their Deli Cup and during this time, I'm also updating my phone information with that particular gecko. I'm writing down, I also have a jeweler's loop on me too, so if I need to check the sex of that gecko as well. Um, so this is just the general information I have on here. These are the uh, Lichianus geckos I updated the other day. Um, so here I have L1, probable male, young juvenile. I have their... Um, lineage there, uh, also their locale, GTA, Nuami Nuana, hatch date, I have their weight in grams, and the price that they'll be listed at as well as their um, the Black Friday sales prices on here too. And so that keeps me organized, so then when I go to update the website later, I can just go right down the list, and this list is in order with the photos on the camera for when I transfer those over as well. Everything will line up. I'll have the information side by side with the photos. I can update the website super fast and easy. And yeah, it just makes everything a lot better when it's all organized. <laughs> so this is the turntable I use for those uh, 360 degree uh, gecko videos, which we will have that for I believe every gecko we will be listing this Wednesday. Uh, we'll have a full 4K 360 degree video of each gecko. Um, and it is done with this right here. Super simple, it literally just turns on and off. At some point I lost the remote, but the remote is really cool because you can program the speed. Um, you can go reverse or back forward. You can have it uh, turn in like, different segments or however many uh, degrees at a time over the course of a minute, so on and so forth. You can program all that. So I definitely need to find that remote, but as until then I am stuck on the uh, on and off button, which at least it's the settings that I want typically. So yeah, you just click it on, beeps, and then it just spins around. So whatever's on it, it's gonna go around in a full circle and it just keeps going until you turn it off. But yeah, that's basically how we do those uh, really cool 360 degree gecko videos. Um, now with that, I will say, uh, lychees, even the chihuahuas aren't too bad. Um, crested geckos are okay for the most part. When it comes to doing the videos of the turntable, they don't mind too much the slow spinning around. You'll always notice in the videos, their head stays like focused forward typically as it's turning. They're still keeping their head focused in one spot. The ones that are a pain to use this with are the uh, gargoyle geckos. <laughs> so usually with the gargoyles, I'll have some kind of flatter surface that they're on and it's easier for them to latch onto. Um, if not, as soon as I turn this thing on, a lot of times they're jumping off. So 
<laughs> don't be surprised if in even this update, there may be a Gargoyle 2 that doesn't have the video and it's just because they were not having it. Pictures are way easier than doing this video, trust me. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get this looking a little more aesthetically pleasing. I always, and you've seen it before, I like using different types of props. Now, you don't wanna pick anything that's too distracting as a prop, right? Obviously, the main focus should be of the reptile, not the prop itself. So I like to use something that will complement everything. It might look cool or whatever, but it's not gonna distract you. So for this update, I may use a few different things because I have so many geckos to take photos of. And depending on the size of the gecko, of course, lychees being really large, some of the crested geckos being a lot smaller, um, will determine the type of prop I will use for this. All right, so to make this kind of setup come to life for the shoot, we're gonna add this cool little blue briefcase thing. Now, of course, I kind of have the camera focused on my face versus the light booth itself. Um, so I'm in focus, but of course that makes this thing get blown out a little bit. Now the fun part, gotta pick out a prop that's gonna sit up there. I think I have a something that might work, hopefully it'll work, I'm pretty excited about. <laughs> Gonna use this really cool, look at this, look at this thing. This really awesome vintage, like Kodak camera is gonna be kind of our main centerpiece prop. This thing was made, I believe in like the early 1900s or something, just, I mean, how cool is that? I think we've come a long way though from uh, this to uh, like just cell phones. Crazy, right? But anyway, so like I said, nothing that's like too distracting or colorful or anything. I usually try to pick stuff with neutral colors. This is just uh, black with some metal on it. Um, so most of the geckos should pop out a little bit with that. But like I said, I'll probably use a few different props than just this. This will probably work for some of the smaller animals. Um, and then probably we'll have to get something a little thicker for the lichianas because some of them are pretty big. Um, or I may just have them sit on this uh, blue briefcase and use that. Um, that might work best. Anyways, let's uh, let's go ahead and grab a gecko and kind of see how this thing looks. Oh yeah. Here we go. Got this gorgeous lily white right here. Look at that, almost like a completely solid back from head to tail, right? Just a couple little, little spots at the base of the tail there. But this little girl, girl, looks like a girl, is gonna be perfect on this. So I'm gonna set her up here. And of course they have, sometimes they stay, sometimes they're like, hey, I'm out of the deli cup, I'm free. Let me play my escape now. Oh yeah, I almost completely forgot. I'm got, kind of getting carried away with just the props itself. Um, but the most important thing is lighting. You want to get the lighting just right with basically your camera settings so it gives the most realistic look, interpretation of what the actual animal looks like. And the best way to do that is get your lighting right. Um, now, with a light box, now imagine most of the light actually comes down from the top. Um, you could lower this flap here and open up the little window to take photos through, but because I like to be mobile, I'm moving the camera all around usually, I don't like to use that. And so just imagine this, because the gecko's up here, light's coming down from the top. What happens if you take a normal photo, um, a lot of times underneath is gonna be kind of shadowy. So to fix that, we have this little extra uh, light right here. I was just using to light my face for the video, um, but we're gonna borrow this now. And I'm gonna actually set this down in the corner right here, angled facing up. So now you have light coming from the top 
and the gecko underneath is gonna be lit as well. This will help prevent any shadows like around the eyes of the gecko on the face. Make sure to keep the eye of the gecko in focus. And this goes not only for a setup like this, but just your everyday Instagram photos, just whatever, casual photos. If the eye of the gecko or just reptile in general is in focus, it's gonna make the rest of the photo come to life a lot more. There we go, that looks good. And uh, let's take some photos. And then now, kind of reposition her some. Whoop. And let's turn on the turntable. Hopefully she just doesn't jump off and get some uh, 4K video. All right guys, so we took some photos, we got the video. I have to go through all these other geckos next, of course. Um, keep all the information tracked. And basically the step after all of that is uploading everything to the computer and then updating the website and then making sure the website is scheduled to go live with the new update at 8 p.m. this Wednesday. So go ahead and save the date, right? This one's excited. You guys should be excited too. And yeah, so first, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And now, let's go ahead and see a little sneak peek of some of the geckos that will be listed later this week. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.